Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and I'm back with another video. And this one is going to be me, well, the, and the entire week is actually going to be me going over my run at my midseason showdown. And yeah, uh, basically, uh, what was it? I'm, I'm not going to go over my entire record. Uh, you guys will see how it goes. But um, my first match is against, I believe his name is Evan Thompson. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll correct myself in the description, but I'm pretty sure it's Evan Thompson. Uh, we'll just refer to him as Hodor for the rest of this game. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, game one, he's running Tapu Koko, Arcanine, Buzzwool, and Gyarados, and I know he has a chancy too. Uh, his last Pokemon doesn't make an appearance, but, uh, game one, I'm gonna be running Talonflame, Tapu Lele, Clefable, and... Uh, Garchomp and I'm not gonna go over my entire mindset during these games because it has been a few days And I'm not gonna completely remember what I was thinking. But yeah, let's get into the first one I'll try to remember what I do uh, I'm probably just gonna end up commentating over myself aren't I? I think my strategy this game was just go for standard tailwind uh, Tapu Lele uh, Of course, you know psychic terrain boosted with a life orb deals a lot of damage uh, but I can't exactly remember what my um, goal was uh, he's going to lead Tapu Koko Arcanine, so I did feel really safe. Um, I was pretty sure I speed tied with the Arcanine. Uh, but uh, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I never actually outspeed the Arcanine without Tailwind. So he pretty much proves to me that uh, he's jolly natured. That or I got really unlucky with the 50%. Um, I think turn 1 he's going to go for Volt Switch. So... Or turn 1 he ends up going for Volt Switch, I believe. Uh, I, I just go for Tailwind because I do have priority. He goes for the Volt Switch, and he actually goes for it into Tapu Lele, which was surprising. Uh, he expected me to protect my Talonflame, but really I had no reason to. All I need was a Tailwind. Or all I needed was a Tailwind. Uh, he's going to go into Gyarados and remove and reduce uh, my damage output physically, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, Talonflame, of course, isn't the strongest thing physically, and I don't really need I don't really need to use Fire MZ for anything. Uh, he's just going to Flare Blitz into Tapu Lele. Uh, you know, I was expecting to outspeed it. I did actually go for Psychic in the Arcanine slot to get an easy KO. Uh, and he does actually reveal that he's Jolly Life Orb. So I go into Clefable and I'm like, alright, well, let's start redirecting attacks. <laughs> I think this turn I go for the Will-O-Wisp into the uh, Gyarados. Because that burn is going to help a lot with reducing damage. And I believe this turn I also go for a Cosmic Power with my Clefable. Yeah. It's easy for me to kind of, like, predict what I'm about to do because I know how I play. So yeah, I am reducing the damage output uh, from that Gyarados, and I do get up my Cosmic Power. So now nothing's doing any damage. Uh, he's just going to go for Dragon Dance, but of course I do not care about that whatsoever. Uh, Clefable is completely unaware of the Dragon Dance. Uh, what I am concerned about is uh, the Thunderbolt. Of course, I am physically defensive Clefable to deal with Trick Room uh, Gigalith and Trick Room Snorlax. Uh, I just decide my best play is going for as much damage as I can into the Tapu Koko. Of course, it's at like minus two, so it's not going to do anything. Uh, but Inferno Overdrive is just nice for getting that chip. And of course. It's not going to knock it out. It's going to do like half. <laughs> Waterfall is going to go ahead and go into Clefable. It's not doing anything though. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Clefable. And I'm just going to Cosmic Power again. <laughs> now of course this Clefable does have uh, Moonlight. So that is going to help it a lot on the recovery side. Also, the leftovers. Uh, it's it doesn't have a mental alert because I do have Moonblast. After a couple of uh, after a couple of cosmic powers, I can go on the offensive with uh, Moonblast. That's something I liked about the set. And Flare Blitz isn't going to knock it out, which I kind of was hoping it would. Uh, but you know, I'm at minus two and Inferno over Inferno Overdrive only did like half. Volt Switch is going to go into Town Flame, knocking it out easily in the Electric Terrain. <laughs> Sorry for the cough. And he's going to go back to Hodor. Buzzwell is going to come out, and of course I know every Buzzwell carries Poison Jab. Like, pretty much all of them. I'm going to go ahead and go for Moonlight. I'm not going anywhere. The Fable is here to stay. And Gyarados is just going to get chipped away with the burn. My Tailwind's gone, but it doesn't matter too much because I'm a Choice Scarf user anyways. Um... And I'm of course just going to click Rock Slide because 
I don't want to hurt my Uncle Fable, and that's my best damage output. I go for the follow me to make sure I can get off as many rock slides as I can, hoping maybe once in a while I'll get a lucky flinch, uh, but I'm pretty sure I like never get a flinch. He's gonna go ahead and click waterfall, it's gonna go into the fable, it's gonna do like not even 10%. Poison jab is gonna do like not even 20%. <laughs> uh yeah, this go fable's beautiful. Because now uh, my Garchomp just wears them both down with Rock Slides. <coughs> so Rock Slides going to go ahead and knock out the Gyarados now. Uh, Buzzwool, of course, being as bulky as it is, it's not going to take much damage. And Poison Jab is once again going to go into that Clefable, and it's like doing nothing. Uh, of course, this turn he does get the Poison. It's 30% and he's clicked a couple of them into it. Uh, so I guess it's not really hacks at that point. Uh, I'm a little upset I didn't get my flinch though, <laughs> but whatever, um, it doesn't matter. Clefable's gonna go ahead and get that recovery. Sorry if I'm knocking around my mic, it's like not stable at all. Alright, and the electricity's gonna go away from the battlefield, and I just, I'm a scenario where I can just keep clicking Rock Slide. He can't do much. Of course, I am being worn down by, uh, both attacks and uh, was, I'm being worn by, down by both attacks and a poison status. But uh, Rock Slide next turn I think knocks out Arcanine. Probably not. I'm, I'm stupid. And would you look at that? He ends up doubling into the Clefable, of course, wanting to knock it out. Uh, but I did see the opportunity uh, to go ahead and Moonlight, and <laughs> I live the Poison Jab, and I go for another Moonlight. Clefable doesn't die. Well, I mean, it does die, and you'll see Th this this little Poison status. That's just foreshadowing what's to come. All right, and the Poison's gonna go ahead and do a lot of damage to me. Um, more damage than what he's doing already, but he's gonna withdraw the Arcanine. He's gonna go to Tapu Koko. Uh, he just wants to reduce the damage from Rock Slides as much as possible. But this Rock Slide is gonna go ahead and connect with the Tapu Koko, knocking it out. And Buzzwool is gonna take a little bit of chip damage. He's gonna go ahead and click Poison Jab again as I click Moonlight. Yeah, Clefable is a really nice support mod in VGC 17, mostly because it just doesn't die, um, and it can absorb hits for the other team members. Uh, the only reason it's outclassed by Clefairy in most cases is because uh, Clefairy is slightly bulkier with Eviolite, and it has Friend Guard to reduce damage to your partners. But <laughs> that doesn't really matter when you have like three cosmic powers up. Yeah. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and click protect. I'm just gonna click rock slide again. I can't click anything else on choice scarf. Uh, it's gonna bring Buzzwool down to half. Slightly below half, actually. He's gonna uh, click poison jab again. He's just fishing for crits now. Um, that's his only way of, you know, winning. I'm gonna click Moonlight again. Fun fact, uh, my Clefable, actually, I forgot to PP Max, so it's only got like five Moonlights on it, which was annoying, but I never ran out of Moonlights during my games. He's gonna go for E Speed into the uh, Garchomp. It's gonna do a lot, because that Life Orb, but now he's just gonna die to Rock Slide. <coughs> er, not Rock Slide, to Life Orb. Rough Skin plus Life Orb is enough to knock him out. And I can click Rock Slide, it's going to do a little bit of chip damage to that Buzz Bowl. And he's going to go ahead and click Super Power into the Garchomp. The reason I didn't redirect this turn... Well, one, I'm actually surprised it didn't kill. Uh, but the real reason I didn't redirect this turn is because I can knock it out with Moonblast. Uh, so that was my that was my win condition. Moonblast is enough to knock out the Buzz Bowl because Buzz Bowl's special defense is poo poo garbage. And yeah. So I do pick up a, the win on game one, uh, of course this is a best of three so I have to win 
one more and I'll win it. Uh, you see, this game he brings Tapicoco, Arcanine, Gyarados, and Chansey. And the reason this team works so solidly is because he's got um, Volt Switch on Tapicoco with two Intimidators, so he can just cycle out the Intimidations. It's really cool. <coughs> I forgot to read off what I brought this game. But I do bring Townsend and Garchomp, expecting something along the lines of Tapicoco, Arcanine. And I do get my wish. So the game plan here is to click Earthquake and uh, Tailwind up. Of course with the Intimidate, um, I'm not going to be doing as much damage, but still he doesn't like, he, he really doesn't like taking these Earthquakes. He really doesn't. I almost predicted and went for Rock Slide because he knows I'm Choice Scarf, but uh, you know, I just go for the Tailwind regardless. Alright, so now I'm in a really good position. He's not in the best position. He's actually going to switch out into his Gyarados, which is going to get off another Intimidate. And that's going to hurt like hell. Because, like, what damage am I doing with my Garchomp now? Um, Earthquake isn't going to knock out Tabu Coco at minus two. It's going to do a lot. It's not going to knock it out. As you can see, it only does about 50%, so he's actually running a decently bulky Tapu Koko. And I do just click Will-O-Wisp into the Tapu Koko. I was expecting Buzzwool to switch in, actually. Uh, or no, I was expecting Gyarados to switch in, uh, in the Tapu Koko slot. But he ends up just opting to, uh, knock out my gosh darn, uh, Town Flame. You know, I feel like had he actually switched out, um, Tapu Koko for... Gyarados, uh, then this game would go a lot differently because that burn on Gyarados would have helped a lot. Uh, Tapu Lele comes out, of course, in the Tailwind. It's a really, really big threat. Uh, I am locked into Earthquake, and I don't like that at all. I actually opt just to go ahead and damage my Tapu Lele because I am uh, at minus two. It's just chip damage on the Arcanine now. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got the knockout, so Psychic on the Arcanine is going to pick up the KO. Sorry if you guys hear barking in the background, that's my tiny dog. Uh, Waterfall is going to go right into the Tapu Lele, and it's going to just barely miss the KO. Just barely. Now Chansey is going to come out... You know, my, my best play would have been to protect my Tapu Lele here, expecting the Seismic Toss. Um, but I'm not smart. I'm not smart at all. I could have just knocked out Gyarados. Actually, no, I think he Dragon Dances, so it doesn't matter. No, he clicked Protect. Yeah, I forgot. Because his play was Protect Seismic Toss. Uh, I really should have predicted that uh, the game would have gone much differently. Wait, what? I, I'm stupid. I'm not remembering things. Oh yeah, he withdraws. I actually do predict the, him to withdraw and I go for a Psychic instead of... Uh, no, I go for a Moonblast, I think. I, I feel like I went for Moonblast. No, I went for Psychic, uh, and I think I openly said, that's stupid, why didn't I click Moonblast? Because I knew, like, Tapu Koko was going to come in. Uh, so I do lose Tapu Lele there. And Liquidation isn't going to do much to Chansey because it's gosh darn Chansey. I do get the Defense Drop now, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of damage with my uh, Leech Lives. And I actually, you know, there are a lot of, like, particular things I should have realized. He is Shiny Gyarados, which means that he most likely has Z-Bounce, which is uh, Flying MZ. Uh, it's really nice for countering things like Buzzwool. And in this scenario, <laughs> my Galissapod. So I'm going to go ahead and click Rock Slide. Gyarados is going to avoid, which is really unfortunate for me. As he's going to go ahead and go for the Flying MZ. And of course, you know, this is, what is it, Bounce is base 90, I believe, Bounce is base 90, I can't remember, but uh, it's a stab over base 100 flying type move from the Gyarados, there's no way I'm living this. So it's just going to go right in and I'm going to get completely destroyed. And that's a shame because I clicked Leech Life into Chansey, I would have gotten like all my health back at minus one. And from this point on, it's just me desperately trying to get flinches. 
Uh, he did review Heal Pulse. So he's gonna click Dragon Dance, and now I know that like Waterfall can knock me out. Uh, typically things don't carry Z Bounce and Ice Fang, so he has to go for Waterfall. And the chance is just gonna recover up. I'm just gonna keep clicking Rock Slide. I have to hope for crits, flinches, anything. That's my only way of winning now. And of course I don't get it. He's gonna go for another Dragon Dance, making sure he can knock me out with a Water type move. And of course now he outspeeds me too. Heal Pulse is gonna come off from Chansey and it's just gonna make sure that Gyarados is here to stay. And uh, final turn of the game, I just decided to forfeit. Uh, because there's no way I was gonna win that, I knew what was happening. Uh, so yeah, we do go into game three. Uh, as you can see, he brings the exact same team. Uh, this time I actually bring the Clefable. I bring the Clefable just hoping he doesn't have Toxic on Chansey. That's it, because I can actually redirect heal pulses into me. So I lead Tapu, <laughs> Tapu Lele and Townflame, and I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as game one. I still wasn't sure if he was Jolly yet. I still wasn't sure. I was hoping he was adamant. So I'm just going to go for the same thing I did game one. It was a 50-50 roll. Um, but after this game, I'm very sure that he's... Uh, I'm very sure that he's Jolly. Because I'm modest Tapu Lele, and uh, we speed tie with uh, Adam and Arcanines. It's very rare you see uh, Jolly Arcanine, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and click Tailwind. He's going to Volt Switch. It's not going to knock me out, because I'm bulky as hell. And uh, he is Assault Vest, so he doesn't have as much special attack investment. He's going to go into the Chansey, which is going to eat special hits. And he's going to click Flare Blitz into the... Tapu Lele. He's gonna protect the Arcanine. And I think he goes for Seismic Toss onto my Town Flame. <laughs> I do click Taunt because I don't want him heal pulsing or toxicing anything. Uh, so yeah, he actually goes for Toxic. Uh, and I switch out because I want to conserve this Taunt for later on in the game. I know it's my win condition if I end up using Clefable. So Clefable's pretty safe to come in here. Tapu Coco is going to come out. And my Psychic Terrain has gone. Now he has his Electric Terrain up. Psychic isn't going to do anything. I was just hoping for spit-off drops, really. This entire game I was like, alright, I have to just get lucky if I want to win. Alright. So Clefable is going to heal a little bit with leftovers. Uh, I'm going to click follow me and yeah. I'm going to redirect any attacks into my Clefable. Uh, Moonblast is actually going to come out from my Clefable, or <laughs> from my uh, Tapu Lele and go into the Tapu Coco. And I'm surprised that killed. I was very surprised that killed because I was certain he was a Soul Vest. Unless I'm stupid. Because like, here's the thing. The Life Orb... <sighs> my dog's barking so much. The Life Orb was on his Arcanine, and Assault Vest Tapu Cocos are running all over the place right now. So my Talon goes away, and here's where I get into that scenario where I'm like, is it Jolly Arcanine, or is it Adamant Arcanine? Um, but yeah. So here I just decide, hey, let's get Clefable out of there, the Toxic's coming out. Uh, I need to get Talonflame in, maybe we'll get another Tailwind up. Flare Blitz is going to come off from the Arcanine and go straight into Tapu Lele. It's going to go ahead and knock it out. I clicked uh, Psychic into the Arcanine, just hoping. And he... I believe he goes for Seismic Toss. No, he goes for Toxic. So Toxic is going to wear down my Talon Flame. Uh, I'm not faster than an Arcanine, because... You really, if I was faster than Arcanine, that would have been great. Uh, I should really... Uh, change the team so Talonflame outspeeds Tapu Lele uh, because it doesn't take that many EVs when you have base 126 speed. Uh, also, like, was it Inferno Overdrive Oko is Tapu Lele? So I really should do that. That was a uh, that was a bad that was a bad team building thing on my part. I just really like all the bulk. See, so yeah, I'll change that. I'll definitely change that so uh, I outspeed Tapu Lele. But Extreme Speed's gonna knock me out. 
And Moonblast is going to do absolutely nothing to Gyarados because I'm not offensive. Well, actually, not absolutely nothing. It does a decent amount. And I'm going to heal up with my leftovers. So I'm going to go ahead and send out the Garchomp now. Uh, I have to start clicking Rock Slides again. Yeah, we're in this scenario. This seems awfully familiar. He's going to go into his Chansey. And he's going to protect his Gyarados. And I think I go for Cosmic Power. Rock Slide's going to do something to Chansey, but it's definitely not going to knock it out anytime soon. Cosmic Power is going to come out from my Fable. Uh, now I'm very, very bulky. And, like, obviously I'm fearing the Toxic. I don't have any Taunt, um, so that was annoying. He's going to withdraw the Gyarados. He's going to reduce all the damage he can. Uh, he's going to go back into his Arcanine. And that's just gonna intimidate my. Uh, he's gonna intimidate my Garchomp, so I can't do anything. Rockside's gonna come out. It's gonna do something to Arcanine. Not much with uh, minus two, I believe. No, minus one, because uh, I came out after the Gyarados. Moonblast is gonna come out. At this point, I just needed to go for damage because I knew a Toxic was gonna come out. Chansey does flinch, so that was lucky. And, like, really, I think you guys can tell I'm not going to win this exchange. Uh, I just have to click I just have to click Rock Slide over and over again and hope it flinches. Which, I hate doing that, because then I feel bad when I win. So Rock Slide's going to come out. I'm going to go for another Cosmic Power. And the Chansey's going to go for Soft Boiled. So, uh, of course, Chansey isn't going to die. Even like Chansey's really really good it's really good uh, not really in the metagame but just like in general it doesn't die even more so than Clefable because Chansey gets natural cure so it can switch out and uh, just heal everything back up Gyarados is gonna come out uh, Rock Slide is super effective but of course not gonna do much at minus two I click Rock Slide Chansey avoids it no damage going off into Chansey, no flinches, uh, and Gyarados is going to be taking a little bit of damage there. Moonblast is going to come out from my uh, Clefable, once again on the Chansey, uh, the main reason because I know that's my biggest threat. Like, it's awful. <laughs> it's funny because I actually heard some whispers about Chansey Buzzball when I first showed up to the midseason showdown, uh, and I didn't know that was a thing, and I ended up facing it round one. Uh, we didn't see Chansey and Buzzwell next to each other, though, uh, which is kind of weird. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click Rock Slide again. Uh, next one will knock out the Gyarados, but I think at plus one he's able... Oh, no, I do flinch him. And I'm going to go for a Moonblast. Right into the Gyarados, and that should knock him out. It's like, let's say I had Heal Bell on my uh, Clefable, which he knows I don't. Uh, I still wouldn't have been able to win this exchange because I can't outstall a Chansey. He's going to send out the Arcanine. And he's going to reduce my damage output even more. I think to the point where Rock Slide doesn't even KO. So once again, I'm going to click Rock Slide and it's going to do nothing to the Chansey. <laughs> and I think this is the turn where he toxics my Clefable. Moonblast is going to come out onto the Chansey. It's going to almost bring it down to half. He's going to click Toxic, it's going to land on Michael Fable, and now I'm going to be chipped down. Leftover is going to go off. This this first game, I swear to god, like, the rest of these games aren't this boring and stally. Like, the rest of the games in my run are not like this. They're actually pretty fast-paced. Alright, so uh, he's going to click Extreme Speed into the Garchomp, and that just makes it so the Toxic will wear it down even faster. Of course, uh, he's going to die soon from Life Orb and Rock Slide and stuff. So now it's pretty much Chansey versus uh, 
Clefable and Clefable's poisoned, Chansey has soft boiled. Uh, the reason I say Chansey versus Clefable, uh, because of course Garchomp's gonna die soon. He's got a Toxic on him. And he's gonna quick soft boiled, so I think he knows he wins at this point. My left river is gonna go off, but it won't matter too much with the toxic damage. And that toxic is gonna go ahead and bring Garchomp down to 3 health. It's gonna bring my Clefable down to 179 health, or 178, and I just kind of realized that I can't win, so I click forfeit. Uh, but yeah, that was my first game. I ended up winning my first match, but as you can see, we have a few more matches here. Uh, yeah. Well. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. And with that, I'm actually going to call it. Everyone have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be tomorrow, and it should be a uh, another one of these. But yeah, see you.